Praise God. I just want to jump on and bless someone today. I just want to get on here and just do a little praying. just want to pray for everybody that's uh, going through the storms. I just want to be an encouragement to someone today. I just feel like someone needs encouraging. I just want to jump on here a few minutes and just let you know that God's not left you. God's still for you. And uh, you're not alone. And we just want, to, want everyone to know today that God is on your side. So I just want to jump on just for a few moments on here today and just encourage people to to keep going, to just encourage people to to dig deeper and just to go after the presence of God like you never have before. And I know that uh, the enemy is always trying to discourage us, uh, to get us down and to get us to quit and to get us to uh, not to go forward. But I'm a uh, come on here today just to tell you that God is for you and he's not against you. The fire goes before you and burns up all your enemies. And that I just want to be an encouragement to someone today and tell you that uh, God has angels that's overlooking you today and protecting you. And I just want to tell you today that no matter what kind of battle you're going through, the voice of the Lord is as is, is, is close to you as it's ever been, even in the storm. He's the same God in the valley as he is on the mountaintop. No matter what kind of thing you're going through or facing today in your life, I want you to know that the God of the universe is still under control. No matter what you're facing, no matter what the world looks like, listen to me. We don't look through natural eyes. We look through spiritual eyes. We don't operate in the natural realm, but we operate in the supernatural realm. So I wanted to jump on today, and I want to be an encouragement to someone that I feel like that may be going through a storm of their life, not just in the natural like we are right now in lots of places. And we pray for them, and we are praying for them, that God will move in every situation of this storm right now that's going on across their nation. But I also want to be an encouragement to the ones that's going through a spiritual storm. You feel like you're dry. You feel like you're in a valley. You feel like you're far, far away from the Lord. But can I tell you today that God is still as close to you as your voice. If you speak, he will come. If you ask, he will do. The Bible says, ask and you shall receive. Knock and you shall it shall be opened. Seek and you shall find fine. I just wanted to encourage someone with a quick video today that might run through the Facebook and see this, that God is on your side. He is for you. You've not went too far. You've not done nothing too bad that God cannot pull you out of it, that God cannot turn it around. He is the God of redemption. He is the God of resurrection. He can resurrect things that you think's done dead. Can I tell you today that God is the God of the turnaround. He'll turn your life around in an instant. You may be facing problems. You may be going through a lot of stuff. I love you, Chris. It's good to see you on here. It's good to see you today. I love you and your wife. Y'all great people. We love you. We lift you up in the name of Jesus to do great and mighty things for the Lord you are doing. And we love you guys. And I just wanted to be an encouragement. I just come on, no, no, no agenda besides to encourage people today that God is still moving. God's still healing. God's still saving. God's still setting free. He's still delivering people. He's still doing great and mighty things. The enemy will whisper in your ear and tell you you're all alone. There's no one with you. There's no one going with you. You're by yourself. But I came to tell you today that there's an army rising in the land. There's a move of God that's taking place in our nation. No matter what the nation looks like, there's still a remnant. There's still a people that's going after the presence of God, that's still seeing God move and still seeing God come forth and do what he said he'll do. And I wanted to jump on today and be an encouragement to you and tell you that you're not by yourself. You're not alone. You've not failed too far that God can't pick you up. There's not enough problems in front of you that God cannot re 
erase and remove and re- return you back to your rightful place with him. He, you're made in his image. You're not a mistake. You're made in the image of Christ. You're formed. You was made like him. You're called to be like him. And I just wanted to encourage you today that no matter what this world's whispering, no matter what this world's manifesting around you, no matter what people are telling you, the God of the universe is still in control and he's still able to do great and mighty things through your life. You may be on here and say, I may have done waited too long. I may be too old. I may be too young. Can I tell you, you're never too young. The same Holy Ghost that's in us as the middle age or old age is the same Holy Ghost in the young people. The same, and listen to me, the same God is working in a 30 or 40 or 50 year olds is the same God that will work in a 60 or 70 and the 80 year olds. God is still wanting to use you and do great things through you. So I want to encourage someone. It's not time to quit. It's not time to stop. It's not time to slow down, but it's time to go full force ahead and watch what the Lord is about to do in your life. This is the day of the turnaround. This is the day of God's resurrecting power. He's about to resurrect things that you thought was dead. He's about to bring dreams and visions back, hope back to you. And I just want to encourage you today to know that God is on your side. And if God be for you, who can be against you? Come on, somebody. Let me tell you today, the world didn't give it to you and the world can't take it away. I want to encourage you right now to draw deep out of the well of God because God is awakening a nation. There's a remnant that is rising. There's a move of God that's coming and shaping this nation. And can I tell you that God is still on the move? There's still a cloud by day and a fire by night. Can I tell you that God is still right there where you are today? I know it may not look like, but we don't move by what we see. It may not feel like it. he's there, but I'm not moved by how I feel. We need to know today that we're not moved by feelings. We're not moved by what we see, but we're moved by the Spirit, saith the Lord. And I'm telling you, I'm talking to someone that feels discouraged today. Discouragement is breaking off of you in the name of Jesus. You will not be discouraged any longer, but you will be encouraged. Why? Because what's impossible with man is possible with God. And God's about to do some impossible things in someone's life today and you're about to see a turnaround and you're about to see the very manifestation of the thing that you thought was lost it may be your marriage it may be your kids it may be everything that surrounds you that looks like it's going down the drain but can I tell you he is the God that reaches down further than we can reach up and he will restore the very thing that you, the, enemy, the enemy has told you has been gone and it's too far gone and it's lost and you'll never recover. You'll never get back up. Can I tell you that God says today that you will get back up. You will go forward. You will see the hand of God move in your life like never before. And I came on here today to encourage someone that the enemy's tried to strip you. The enemy's tried to stop you. The enemy's tried to slow you down. The enemy's tried to tell you to stop and not go forward. The enemies try to get you to quit completely. The enemies try to get you to leave the house of the Lord. The enemies try to get you to not even think there is a Lord. But can I tell you, He's still strong and mighty. He's still on the throne. He's still on top of the mountain. He is our strong tower. He is our present help. I came to encourage somebody. I came to tell somebody, when it looks like everybody's done left you, He hasn't left you. When it looks like everybody else done gave up on you, God has not gave up on you. He's still there. He's still for you. Reach out today and say, Lord, I need your help and watch how fast he shows up. I came to encourage somebody with this video. It's just a short video. I just felt an unction by the Holy Ghost that someone needs to be encouraged. Someone needs to be lifted up. Listen to me today. The Spirit of God is coming through this video right now. I'm going to pray in just a moment for every person that watches this video, even is watching now and is going to watch it later. I'm going to pray that every chain of bondage, every problem breaks off, everything. Listen to me. The anointing destroys the yoke. 
It cannot stay around you. He says, my yoke is easy. My burdens is light. I speak the fire of God to come through this video. The fire of God to touch every person today. And you may feel like your heart is done went out and it's done got to a place that it can't never get restored. You may feel like you've lost the fire. You may feel like there's not even a coal left that you've done burn out. But can I tell you, he's a God that restarts. He's a God that resets. And he is a God that restores. And I just believe today that this video, there's going to be fire come through it. And he's going to touch people. And he's going to blow like fresh wind into your life. That's going to start the new fire that come up in you. And you're going to be like Jeremiah. It's going to feel like fire shut up in your bones. And God says today that he's going to encourage you with a fresh touch of the Holy Ghost. Lord, I pray right now for every person that watches this video that the fire and the wind of God comes through this video and blows in the room, in the car, wherever they're at, on the workplace. Maybe they're just out in the yard. But I pray the fire of the Holy Ghost comes and manifests around them, in them, and through them. And every situation gets burnt up because fire comes to consume everything that's not like the Lord. So I tell you today that God is coming with His fire. He's coming to burn up everything that's trying to stop your destiny, stop your purpose. The purpose and the destiny of the Lord. I call them forth in your life. I call them forth in the name of Jesus. Come forth today in Jesus' mighty name. I thank you for it right now. The anointing. Go through this video. The anointing destroys every yoke of bondage. It cannot stay. Addictions are broken. Hopelessness is brokenness. Broken off of you right now. Depression is gone in the name of Jesus. That whispering devil, I speak to you right now to shut your mouth. And I thank you for the wind of the Holy Ghost to come and blow through this video right now in Jesus' name. I give you glory. I give you glory. I just wanted to shut, jump on this video for a second. Shout out to you that God is for you and no one can be against you. God bless you. Have a great day.